Right into her. Oh, right. Serial killers are found all over the world, but the U.S. has the highest number of serial killers. Wikipedia's definition for a serial killer is an individual who killed three or more people over a period of a month. I am going to inform you on the classification of serial killers, the motives they have, and the life of a serial killer growing up. Serial killers can be classified into two primary groups, organized and unorganized. Organized killers are planners. They plan what to do with their victim before, after, and where they're going to dispose of them. These types of serial killers are intelligent and know how to control their emotions. Ted Bundy is an example of an organized serial killer. Bundy would make his victims pity him and then beat them unconscious and take them away. Unorganized serial killers are basically the opposite. They are not very social, usually have a below average intelligence level, and do unskilled labor. They feel nervous about their kill. The serial killer numbers are a lot higher than I expected. I found a list of serial killers in the U.S. There were 142 names. Then I remembered a person isn't classified as a serial killer unless they kill at least three people. So 426 people have been killed at the least in the United States. Not all serial killers have the same motives, but usually they can be classified into one of four groups. The first group is visionary killers. Visionary killers believe they are being told by God, the devil, or another person to kill. In the visionary group, there are two smaller groups, demon-mandated and God-mandated. David Berkowitz is an example of a demon-mandated killer. He believed that his neighbor's dog was being talked to by the devil and they told him to kill. Another group is mission-oriented. Mission-oriented killers base their kill off hate. They focus on a primary group of people such as prostitutes, Jews, or African Americans. They feel when they kill they are doing good to the world by getting rid of these groups. There are also thrill-oriented killers. They base their kill off fear. They create as much fear in their victim as they possibly can, and the more fear their victim shows, the more excited they are about their kill. The last group is lust killers. Their reasons are sexual. They kill, after they capture the victim, they rape them and kill them. A chart of 10 serial killers I found showed me what they, how they killed them. Most serial killers chose knife attack, gunshot, or suffocation. These are the names, how many people they killed, and where they were at, and the times they killed in between. All people are different, most, but most serial killers have some traits alike. As kids and teens, serial killers usually daydream, constantly lie, isolate themselves, rebel, destroy property, set fires, steal, and are cruel to animals or children. Some serial killers were also abused sexually or physically as children. When serial killers get older, they usually are intelligent, but don't like to apply themselves. They are not very good at holding a job either. The classification of serial killers, motives they have, and characteristics are all things most people don't know. But this information can be interesting and in some ways useful. Serial killers could be anywhere, but knowing these things about them may help you avoid them or maybe interest you to learn more about serial killers. Real cool.